guys! What's up? It's me, Chrissy, and I'm here. And I'm back from Manila, and I bought books because I was at the Manila International Book Fair. 2016! It's my first time going, and I had a lot of fun. I saw so many stalls, so many different kinds of uh, publications, indie publications, like comic stalls, everything. It was so great. And to be like in the presence of that many book nerds, it was just... It was like I was home, and I was safe. Yeah. So, um, I went with my best friend Kara, and we both vlogged. So I'm gonna leave her the link for her vlog and the link of my vlog, which is basically the same day from two different perspectives. Like, I'm crazy and she's not. So, you can watch the sane and insane versions, I guess. And, um, um, if you watch that vlog, I you'll know that I got, there are some books that I got, um, but also there's some books I decided not to get, and there are also books that I chose not to include in the vlog because it was taking too long. So I'm just gonna show you guys um, the books I got right now. Okay, so for when Kara and I walked into the event, we went straight to Fully Booked. So I'm gonna show you what I got in Fully Booked. Everything was 20% off, so kind of went a little bit crazy. So what I got was Nimona by Noel Stevenson, A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, Uprooted by Naomi Novik. The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. The Four Loves and Exploration of the Nature of Love by C.S. Lewis. In the Country by Mia Alvar. When Kara asked me, what's in the country about? Now, I only heard like from Winna about this and a couple other people, but at the same time, I wasn't listening, listening entirely. But I also chose, I just heard about it word of mouth but not really like looked it up myself which I probably should have done so, because when she asked me what's it about I was just like it's magical realism in Marcos which turns out <laughs> not really <laughs> it's short stories and some of them are based during the time of Marcos so if you guys don't know who Marcos is he is the former dictator slash president of the Philippines and um, yes Lots of corruption, lots of death, short stories. So here we go. And last but not least, I got The Girls by Emma Klein. And I'm so excited about this one because it seems really right up my alley. Also, I thought this was YA because of the like color scheme and stuff like that, but it's not. It's about like these this one girl who feels like an outcast and she ends up finding solace with this other group of girls and it's sort of like a fictional account of... Um, the the Manson girls so yes I'm looking forward to this and then after that Kara and I actually walked around and then we found the comic Odyssey stall which has a lot of the comics like um, DC Marvel and then she also found a lot of um, old anime and the thing is like if it's anime, it should be manga, but we found comics of it, like, so it was our childhood, like, Ayashino Ceres, um, some guy, actually, or some person, I'm not sure if it was a guy, but, um, before we got to the stall, we were looking, Kara was looking for Sailor Moon, uh, comics, and then the clerk was like, oh, somebody just bought 10, uh, 10, uh, issues of Sailor Moon, we're like, what? Sailor Moon, so that was really interesting. And I was like on the hunt for stuff, cheap stuff, but then I ended up getting uh, four things. And those are Batman Beyond, A New Dawn, Batman Beyond, by the way, because it's Batman Beyond, right? I was just like, oh my gosh, Sarah McGinn is my childhood because like I grew up watching um, Batman Beyond. <laughs> It's just right there. And anyway, I grew up watching Batman Beyond, okay? And I really, and like Batman Beyond Return of Joker. So that was like my childhood. I, was, I got really excited because I'm like, I really, really do enjoy um, Terry McGinnis as the new Batman because he's like the only Batman to Batman with Batman's approval while Batman was there, you know? Because like usually Batman gets like a replacement while he's out. Um, like the John Paul Valley thing where like he's. um out hurt or like you can't find Batman so someone has to replace him but like Batman was here while Terry McGinnis was being Batman and I thought it was Terry McGinnis but it's not it's Tim Drake right anyway after that I got Batgirl Rebirth the new Batgirl 
and um, I'm just really excited for this. I want to get the actual graphic novel once this once this is done because it feels like it's gonna be a really really interesting um, series. Also, I got Batgirl Futures End, which is a one shot. It features Batgirl, and then if you can see right, you see um, I forgot Doctor Freeze and Penguin, and then when I do this. You see that? It turns into Cassandra something and two other Batgirls. I don't I don't know their names, but Batgirls. Yes. This one's actually very, very good. Um, so that's it for the comics. And then Kara decides to leave me. Not because she hates me or we fought, but because she's gonna go pick up a friend or like yeah, pick up a friend. And so when she left, my impulse control left with her because I really didn't have a lot when I arrived. And so when she left for 20 minutes, I was left alone in National Bookstore, which is much cheaper than fully booked. And it was even on sale, too. So I was like, you know, I didn't know she left and I was alone and there were books everywhere. So, I mean, you can guess what happened, right? So she came back and I was just like... Yeah, this is what happened while well, she was gone. Well, she left me. But, I mean, come on. It's not like I'm upset about it or anything. Anyway, so while she was gone, what I got was Till We Have Faces, a novel of Cupid and Psyche. Psych? Psyche? Physic? What? Psych? However do you pronounce that? And, um... The Dark Tower and other, sh and other stories, the complete collection of C.S. Lewis short fiction. As you can see, I have a lot of C.S. Lewis in this haul. That's mostly because he's very, very hard to find here in Bacolod. So when I saw so many C.S. Lewis, I was like, yes! And I just jumped on it. And, you know, I might not be reading them soon or like tomorrow, but I will be reading them. Like, they're kind of the books I want to have throughout my life. You know, just to be there, just so that I can have them as a collection, just so when I, you know, I could pass it down to my family or something. So that's what I want. And that's why they're here. And I'm, I will read them, so probably when I'm 30. Um, the next one I got was Milk and Honey by Ruby Cower. It's beautiful. I read um, a cup. This was actually open when in the bookstore, so I was reading through it and I was just like, yes, I need this. And then the last one and my favorite, favorite book that I found in National Bookstore was Philippa Gregory, Three Sisters, Three Queens. This takes, this is um, a fictional historical, historical fiction account of um, Catherine of Aragon and her two sisters. One of her sisters, Catherine of Aragon, of course, married Henry VIII, King of England. Her sister... I forgot, married the King of Scotland. And then another sister, I also forgot, I think married the, uh... He's either the King of Portugal or the King of Spain. But she was the, well, the other side of Europe, but not on the same island as England and Scotland. Anyway, you know I love Philippa Gregory. Gregory. You know I love historical fiction. So yes. And... Last but not the least, I got, um, Kara was actually running, looking for Megan, the Meganon comic stall. So I went with her and then if you look in the vlog, that's one with all the fairy lights and all of the um, fun posters. So um, I was able to get Strange Natives, The Forgotten Memories of an Old Woman by Paula Harris and Jericho Marte. Isn't this cover just gorgeous? Isn't this art just gorgeous? Isn't that signing just gorgeous? This whole book is gorgeous. And honestly, it's also a very, very good read. So if you um, are any, if you can find this anywhere, I really do suggest you get it. So that's it. Um, I'm, I will not be lifting these up because it's a lot. It's more than 10 books. And let's, you know, I'm not going to, I don't want to be dropping them. They were expensive. They are beautiful. And so that's it. And, and oh, um, 
I forgot to mention when I was in BGC in the big fully booked, you know, paradise. Um, they have this like room with like literary literature shirts and stuff. So you have like Clockwork Orange, Miss Peregrine's, uh, the Little Prince, and um, I was able to get myself this one, Adventure of Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. So that's it. I just want to show off my cool new shirt because it's it's awesome. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for guys for watching. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.